Hey everyone, my Benio here with another short update of my game project. Um, I made some progress. Uh, as you can see, I added the the quick bars. This time, the the, the better version. Uh, also, the health bar is changed, and next to it uh, is the power bar and the flux bar. I did not yet uh, implement the, the the round ones since they are well. They are more difficult to program, and I just want to check things out first. I can I could always add them later, and this wor works perfectly for testing purpose. So what I have done, you can actually select the enemy, and you see him, and he has a help bar too. You can deselect him, select another. Works pretty much the same as uh, as previously with the tooltips like this. Still, still there. Um, so you can still attack him, but uh, attacks cost now power. I can, I have to change the variable and, and tweak it later on for, for, for every attack, for every type of, of, of thing you do. Um, actually thinking about, uh, about making a, a run, so moving costs less, uh, less time and you can, uh, but, but it costs power. So that, that might be nice to add. Um, but uh, the best thing is uh, I uh, added a, an ability menu. Uh, as you can see, you can see some basic things uh, about ability uh, in the top if I, if I hover over it. So that's nice, but I have to work on that uh, some more, some more. So, so it shows everything everything the ability does and maybe some info about the ability some text and uh, and all that uh, actually the move is just here for the placeholder you just move with the arrow keys uh, but like i said i might uh, add a um, run ability um, you can also drag it as you can see drag it to the taskbar and it pops into the the taskbar of the, the quick bar hotkey bar however you want to call it um, so like this, and uh, you can't get them out anymore. You can over over write them like this. You can add multiples. So that's nice, and uh, you can actually attack uh, uh, enemies with it. And <laughs> now I see I have an error here. No, ah, that's okay. I fix that sooner or later. Um, so if you select the enemy and obviously uh, add some add some tasks, add some abilities in it, select it, and you can actually attack it. And you see the flux goes down as well since this ability uses flux. And another buggy is you can just attack from afar with the normal basic attack too. Since I didn't add a range yet. So uh, that's about it. Um, as you can see, the the menu. I worked on this uh, uh, quite a bit uh, for uh, for the design, but I couldn't get a nice design. I'm, I'm kind of a perfectionist. And I just wanted to look really nice, uh, but I just couldn't get it to work. And it would be nice if uh, if someone uh, with good graphical skills would contact me. So I could uh, already add some some nice uh, some nice graphics to it. I'm also also still still wondering if I should go for the normal tile based, and I could also always uh, change the camera view a bit so it, it has a little bit of depth or 3D in it. But I'm also thinking about uh, making making a hexagon tile game. So that would be much easier with uh, with the radius of, of the attacks. Since since now uh, a tile uh, diagonally is is obviously uh, should be further away. Uh, if you can understand me, it's like if you cross a tile diag diagonally, it's like 1.4 uh, times bigger than if you just cross it horizontally or uh, vertically, uh, horizontally or vertically. So 
still thinking about that. Um, I'm not going for an isometric view. I think it's much too much hassle and the game will look flat anyway. So maybe I just tilt the camera with, uh, with the normal timer. But I'm still debating about that. So uh, you, should, you guys should t uh, tell me what you think. Um, so that's it. I hope you guys uh, follow me. And I keep you guys updated, obviously. And I see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.